The Company of Biologists is a not-for-profit publisher producing five journals, Development, Journal of Cell Science, the Journal of Experimental Biology, and two open access journals, Disease Models and Mechanisms, and Biology Open. And the important thing about the journals is that each is run by a team of academic editors, um, and so they're close to their communities. DMM and Biology Open are both fully open access journals, but the other three journals also have an optional open access option for authors. Um, and there are no other page or colour charges on the journals. So that's an important feature for authors. So, so development was initially called the, the Journal of Experimental Embryology and Morphology. And in 1987, it was renamed Development. So we launched the, the Development and Stem Cell uh, section, which now has been renamed uh, Stem Cell and Regeneration, in order to uh, acknowledge the emergence of this uh, new field uh, of stem cell biology, which is tightly linked indeed to the uh, development of biology. So one of the actions that uh, we've been launching is uh, to create a, a website, a community website called The Node, uh, where developmental biologists can uh, um, write about uh, whatever they want that relates to uh, developmental biology or promote meetings, jobs, and uh, uh, tell about their experience, and, uh, and so on. So it's really meant to somehow tie uh, the people, the community of developmental biologists together. And basically, we cover high quality research concerning uh, basically anything to do with a cell, which is the basic function of uh, the unit of life, uh, of how a cell converts its information in its genome into form and function over time. Uh, so Mole, uh, everyone wants to know who Mole is. <laughs> People do know who he is, but we're not telling who he is, or she. <laughs> um, so Mole makes a sort of, you know, sort of jokey fun of actually very relevant topics of, you know, how science is reviewed, women in science, just basic lab life from a different sort of quirky perspective. But many of the things they say are very true, and uh, we can all relate to it basically. So it's run by scientists for scientists, and uh, it, it's very well respected in the community. Uh, it's a place that people are, are pleased and proud to publish in, I think. So I think we have very good community support. The Journal of Experimental Biology was uh, founded in 1923, has uh, since then been published uh, in an uninterrupted fashion. And lo and behold, when you go to our website, you can find all the articles ever published in our journal in a searchable manner. The uh, Journal of Experimental Biology publishes on comparative physiology, meaning that we publish about all animal species, in particular their physiology. We're interested in research which is hypothesis-driven at mechanisms in comparative physiology. Because we have interesting stories of particular achievements of certain animals and traits, uh, let's say uh, how deep can animals dive, how long can they fly, and uh, all these aspects are obviously interesting to the public and uh, we have quite a good media coverage uh, of the aspects of research that we have. A DMM is it's a little bit different of a journal in that it's focused on the interface between basic and translational research. And the idea of the um, original uh, founders of it was to uh, encourage uh, work that were, uh, using tools that were originally built for basic research and really try to think about disease, think about the mechanisms of disease, and to encourage the development of models to address specific questions of those, of course with the idea of eventually understanding and developing therapeutics for these diseases. The strengths of the journal are that it is uh, run by people who are passionate about the interface between uh, basic and translational research. It is unusual in that it was really pioneering in trying to run that interface. And the other strength is a strong desire as we move forward to present some of the best of the basic models and how they can be useful for addressing issues of disease. Biology Open was born probably about two and a bit years ago, the ideas we started talking about it. Uh, and I think what really excited me about Biology Open was this idea of uh, 
many, many scientists, many colleagues in the field, and I know from personal experience as well, were finding it very difficult to get their work published. You know, we have papers where we think the work is amazing and important, and it just seems to take forever to get it, uh, to, to get it published. Our model is a very simple one. People will submit papers to us. We will spend a lot of time peer reviewing them, that is looking at them carefully to see that the conclusions they claim in their paper are justified by the data in the paper. And if that's fine, then we will publish the paper. We don't attempt to try and guess how important the work is going to be. If that, if the sound, science is sound, the conclusions are justified, then we'll publish the paper. We have several papers that we think are fantastic, we think are you know, groundbreaking, but even getting it past editors or you know, we get reviews that say, this is great, but not quite important enough in our opinion. I think that's very difficult to judge, so I think that's a real strength of the journalists. We don't even try and judge that. That will be judged later by the public if people cite it and they think it's important work. So the Company of Biologists is a charity and the money that we give to the community is in the form of travelling fellowships. We give grants to societies who manage travel grants on our behalf and we also run a series of workshops and we fund small meetings. The company is run by biologists for biologists and we like to feel that we're fair in the way that we work with our communities and open and transparent about our work.